Hey guys, welcome back to Handyman Kevin. Today we're going to do something that's new for us here on the show, which is a little bit of landscaping. I'm standing here in this front yard, which is mostly dirt, pretty boring, not so fancy, and today we're going to put in sprinklers and some rock walkways and some nice planting beds. So let's get started. So before we started, this yard used to have a regular grass lawn and then there are some nice plantings around the edge, so we're gonna to try to save those. There is an existing sprinkler system, but it doesn't really work, and the former tenants let the lawn die. That might be okay though, because California is in the middle of a really bad drought, and there's some good programs right now to let owners put in drought-resistant landscaping. And that's why we're gonna be using mostly rocks, and then a few plants that don't use much water. Luckily, I don't need to dig up all that old dead grass. The lawn crew did that. My first step will be to lay out the walkways and planting beds. They gave me a sketch, but I need to transfer it to the ground. For that I'll be using this orange marking paint. The next step was to dig up and demo the old sprinkler system. That part was actually pretty easy, because they didn't bury it nearly as deep as they should have. The old pipe is way too skanky to reuse, so I'm just going to sauce all it all up and throw it in the trash. I am going to use the existing backflow valve and timer, because they look okay. And I'm going to deepen all the existing trenches and add new ones, because the new system is going to be a loop, which will give it better hydraulics. You'll see I drove stakes at the edge of the yard, and I can sight on them as I dig. I'll put a bunch more information about laying out lawn sprinkler systems on my blog at handymankevinvideos.blogspot.com. You always want sprinkler pipe to be at least six inches below the surface, and if it's going to have vehicles or heavy foot traffic, you want it even deeper than that. Now that the digging is done, I'm putting in sprinkler pipe. If you've never worked with plastic pipe, you'll find it's really silly easy. All you do is cut it with a tubing cutter or a hacksaw. And then you wipe on primer. Wipe on glue. and glue it together. Before I cover the pipe, I like to plug the outlets and slowly pressurize it with water to make sure there's no leaks. I don't know if landscapers do this much, but when I was doing fire sprinklers, we always did it on new systems. Now I've buried the sprinkler pipe and flattened the dirt with a metal rake. The next step is to put down a weed barrier landscape cloth over all the places that won't be planted. This is also the time put in the stone boundary in the planting beds, because the stones will hold down the edges of the cloth. Now is the fun part. We spread slightly damp sand over the landscaping cloth and set the flagstones. These stones are really heavy, so you need to be careful and use safe lifting techniques. Also, when you get them delivered, have the guy forklift them as close to the work site as he can get them. That way you won't have to move them as far.
One thing I want to show you that works well with a lot of heavy things is how to roll them into the wheelbarrow. It takes a little practice, but once you master it, it really saves your back. Did I mention they're really heavy? Once all the flagstones are down, you just trim the excess cloth with a utility knife and sweep the rest of the sand down between the stones. I could have fit these stones together much more tightly, but we're going for more of a wild or rustic look and we wanted bigger gaps. And that's it for my part of the job. I came back a few weeks later and the tenant had put in a bunch of plantings and as you can see, the yard looks really nice.